Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Penburton Farm. This is going to be a bit of a first look kind of map tour video. It is a small map. This is by Dusty Dave Modding, by the way. Uh, this is a new map that is, I believe he's planning on bringing it to console <laughs> and PC. So no need for those comments, it is coming to PC and console. Uh, I will be doing a let's play on this. This is going to replace Cobra for the time being, at the very least. Uh, let's start off with the starter equipment and vehicles, because I've... Uh, well, full disclosure, have a look around this map. It's not, you know, it's not very big, so it's a very quick look. Um, you start off with a front loader and paddle fork, bale fork, a weight to probably go on the back with some small equipment, <laughs> single rotor wind roar, a small tether, a New Holland 8340 Power Star SLE, a Valtra N134. Not very good at recognizing me, Valtras. A Cavernland Accordial Cedar and a Cavernland Fertilizer Spreader. You also have the Farm Tech Trailer over here. This is where you will be storing your grain, most likely. Just need to move something there so it stops rattling. There we go. In terms of harvesters, you've got the small little case with the header and the header trailer. Believe it or not, this is probably about as big as you want to be going on this map. And you also get a mower and a baler, which honestly is a bit of an odd combination. A bit, bit odd of starter vehicles, but I can completely get behind you having effectively everything you'll need to farm. So we're going to use the Valtra to drive around here. It's not going to be a long map tour. I'll bring up the map for you guys so you can see where I'm going. As you can see, I've got my mods preloaded in, so I will be won't need to be loading them in later. Um, now, because it's a small map, it is absolutely chock full of detail. Like this little cottage, I, first time I've seen it. This is a beautiful little cottage, actually. Um, the lights do go on and off over time, so if I were to is it late enough in the day that those lights will be off? I don't think so. There we go. The lights do turn on and off. Um, the sheds, by the way, are all... I think they're all one-click doors, I want to say. Nope, they're click and hold doors. But you can open them with the, the mouse click. Um, some decent enough gates. Nice gates. Uh, the seed and fertilizer triggers are from Soznovka. Pretty obviously. Um, we're kind, pretty much directly from Soznovka, which I can't complain about too much, because I mean they are good triggers. Um, how many fields are on the map? Uh, 18 fields on the map, so you start off with. How many do you start off with? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You start off with about half the fields. Fields. 2, which is going to be over here. Uh, 12, which is in grass. It should be in grass, I think. That's field 12 in there, and it is in grass. Some more storage space. There's no lack of. There's not a lack of storage space on the map at all. So field 2 here is just ploughed up, ready to be seeded. Just double checking that. Yep, that is the plant texture. Because um, there has been an issue, and it is a known issue. I don't know why Giants haven't fixed it. Um, where is this the new grass or is this old grass? Just out of curiosity. This is old grass by the looks of it. I have to get out and get down the ground. This looks to be old grass, so you might need to plow these fields up in theory to get them uh, running 100% productive, which again is fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, I can't remember if he said missions work or not. So let's just have a quick look over here at field, what, three? Uh, no space for mission vehicles, so they must spawn exactly where I parked, presumably, maybe. Let's try. Yep, missions do work. Guess it wouldn't have told me otherwise. And because of the size of this map, it's not really something you'd want to be going on with big equipment. I mean, 18 fields with you owning most of them already. If you've got classic equipment, which 
you guys know I love to collect. This is kind of the perfect map. And because um, I should say, because I've got Seasons Mod installed, all the fields are planted. They do they are fully grown by default. Uh, it's just Seasons Mod make them look like they've just been seeded. Uh, am I having that weird little driving bug again? No, I'm not. Uh, so here's field 9. Quite very small, <laughs> as you can see. Um, field 6 is just as small. If I open this gate here, we can get out to show you field 7. Uh, well, pretty much the rest of the map, really. Including all of the cell points. Uh, the animals, I think, are... Of course, I hit the solid side. <laughs> of course I do. It's me. Why would I not? Oh, it does have traffic. I was kind of wondering that. Hedges, by the way, don't have collisions, which... For a small map, I can kind of understand it, but that's going to be fun to deal with bales, unless he's done the bullet bill magic trick and... I don't know if he has. I should have asked him. Uh, unless he's done the bullet bill magic trick where um, the bales mysteriously... Or the, the hedges mysteriously only have collisions with bales. So over here... I just realized I don't have the home markers on, which is why I can't see the animals. Uh, so the pigs are up by field 4. The cows are down in your main yard. The chickens are over by field 16. And the pigs are down by field 18. So I'll go over and check out the yards after this. Here are three of your cell points, which I'll need to really zoom in on the map to see because they're kind of clustered. There's the bale cell point. I think that's what it's going to tell me. Uh, yep, the barn for your bales, the spinnery for your wool, and country stores for for your grain. If I continue on down this road now, and I am kind of finding this map out as I go along um, in certain spots. I've only really been around the main yard. Just wanted to have a look around stuff. Without, ooh, bit of lag there. That was probably my system causing that. And here's your BJ, only one silo, which actually does make sense. And where's the cell point? Where is the cell point? Oh, it's hidden in around the back. That's definitely different. I like it. <laughs> I like the. That's very horseplay friendly, actually, just looking at it. Um, so small BJ for a small map, it, it wouldn't make sense to have a full four, four or five or more silo BJ. And I have seen five plus silo BJs, if you look at Klein how it's got, I think they claim 19 bunkers dotted throughout the map, which is a bit silly. Let's go down to the village here, got a lovely little churchyard uh, with mobile grass, so certain mowing enthusiasts will be happy. All the ha houses, all the yards have grass. Certain enthusiasts will be happy. And then, I'm guessing it's over here, as I smack into it, is your shop. Is it both shops? Looks like it may well be both shops. Mm, well, your shop... Uh, money point, your vehicle sales, and over here is going to be your animals, where you buy and sell your animals. Which I always like when they have these little set is this cow in the ground? I'm, I'm no expert, but I don't think a cow's leg is supposed to bend like that. Oh, it's lying down! I still don't think its leg is supposed to bend like that. <laughs> I believe normally they um, like fold their legs under themselves, not just lay it out and hope for the best. So, what's this? Over here is... So I have to zoom right in to see the names. Pemberlin Sawmill. Pemberlin Stores. So that must be Pemberlin Stores over there with the big building. This is the sawmill where you can sell your logs and, and um, sawdust, wood chips, that's the word, Dave. Then over here is going to be your Pendulum stores for even more grain sales so they can compete with Pendulum or country stores. 
moving. Let's go now. Have a look at the animal yards. I really like that layout of this town. He has done a fantastic job on, on this. Absolutely stunning town. <laughs> Including pedestrians who actually cross the road at a logical point. So, the other two animal yards should be down this road. As well as the other two player-owned fields, which are 17 and 18. Uh, I like that there's two fields down by the pigs. I don't know if one of them being grass is a good thing, though. Uh, I did obviously have to fast forward time, so there's a couple of eggs dropped already. Uh, your plow and cultivator. Oh, your plow and cultivator down here. Interesting. That's definitely different. Never seen that being done before. Space for your potatoes and sugar beets, or more vehicles if you want them. And then over here are your p pigs, which are... That's interesting. That's a very different way of doing pigs. That's, that's really different. I like it. Um, so normally the pigs are just held in the pen. I like the way that there's a shed included in this, so you can store your feeding equipment over this side and actually use it over the other side. And field 17 is actually that field there, so you can, although pigs don't take silage grass, you can get some grass out of the field and move it around the map. Or hey, I guess. Hey, it'd probably be a better bet. How do you get to field 18? How do you get to field 18? Okay, so according to this, you come out here and cut across the bottom of field 14. Or you could just cut through the hedge entirely, the bleh, shed entirely. And that's again a cultivated f or ploughed field by what appears to be a railway line. Let's go into the field and check. Because that's definitely an interesting little thing over here. What is this? Is this a, a, is this a railway line? Oh, no way is that an actual rail yard. An overgrown old, disused railway line running along the side of that. That's really, that's genius. What we can do as well is, I think there's a second way out of field 14 up here somewhere. Hopefully, if I'm lucky. Uh, if not, I can just bust through a hedge. Because I'll have a look at the cow area, which I completely forgot to do. I'm just going to bust through a hedge. Or two. There we go. Uh, cow area. I'm just beelining it over to the cows, so you'd have to forgive my bad driving. There we go, we're over to the cows now. Water trough is in the field, which I do like. You'd never kind of have it just tucked away in a shed. All the feeding troughs are in the shed. And the manure is off to one side, which, yeah, I can accept. I can accept that because that's the way the game works. It's a real shame that um, Giants changed the manure from a fill plane to... Is that another silage bunker? That's another silage bunker. That's a really nice way of doing it. That's ingenious. Um, I, I dislike the way the Giants changed the... the oh, there's the sheep. Wow, no wonder I missed it. So the hay or... Where are the pallets spawning then? That's hardly the spa pallet spawn area. Because your food will go in there, your water will go in over there, and the pallets spawn in that tiny little area? That's like one or two pallets. That's not going to be good for the people who like having millions of sheep. But then again, I guess on a farm this, year, this size, and a pasture this size, you'd only have... Maybe 30 at most. Going back to the manure thing that I've started talking about multiple times and just stopped. It In um, FS15 before it was a fill plane. So you could get kind of a custom fill plane made up that would go on the inside of the animal barn. You, you had to come in with a shovel and clean it out and you know dump it into an area like that. But now it's just you define an area which is pretty much the size of this has to be north to south or east or west, I believe. And conveniently this is... S... South to north. 
or north and south, I guess, of the game would see it. Um, so you just get end up with a pile instead of a some sort of dynamic fill plane. I think there are people fiddling around with that, trying to get it to work. But um, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot I can show you guys, other than what's here. There's a fantastic amount of detail in the map. It is just amazingly beautiful in terms of what detail he has managed to just cram in at every little corner and every little nook and cranny has something in there free to find so uh, when it comes out it's not if it's when I thoroughly encourage you guys to come download it check it out and give Pembroke and Farms a go Leave us saying, I've been Rainbow Dave, you've been watching Farming Simulator 17, Pemberland Farms First Look. Until next time, stay safe, and goodbye.